Hello guys. Um, g'day, welcome back to a, another quick bit of Dr. Buck here. Um, pretty wet and dreary Thursday morning. Um, we're going to be doing a ceramic paint protection application today on an X5 BMW here. Uh, fairly new model. Um, just purchased about four weeks ago. Uh, used, not brand new. But the paint job's in pretty immaculate condition. There's no swelling, there's no marks on it. But um, this is one of those paint jobs where a lot of uh, detailers would more or less like do a very fast shortcut to try and make some quick cash on it because there's very little work involved in the car. Um, but in terms of perfecting the shine, getting the maximum possible depth, maximum possible gloss, you really have to actually do the work. Not in terms of um, removing small marks or, or imperfections because there's nothing really on it. But in terms of high gloss polishing, using decent products, decent machines, decent pads to try and extract the maximum possible depth and um, shine out of the paint job. Um, having said that, when you use these products, anything that is on the paint job, which is very minor, will also come off. So um, if it's got a pretty good paint job on it, and you do a really strong polish on it, a really strong paint clean, um, chances of anything that are on it will pretty much strip off. So why not do it? Um, not only that enhances the paint shine, enhances the result, uh, makes a customer drop his jaw when he picks his car up and um, they don't have a problem paying the money up um, after they've received what they've gotten and not just received what they've gotten, but gotten a lot more than they bargained for and um, by leaps and bounds. So this is the car here that we've got to deal with today. See, it's a pretty good mix. There's nothing really wrong with it. Um, there's nothing coming up on the bonnet from the, the fluoro lighting above. And um, it's a fairly tidy unit. And we're just going to be doing pretty much a strong paint prep um, to bring the best possible depth out of it. And then we're going to hit it with um, ceramic coating and um, see how best we can get this to come up. Um, it's fairly new, it's fairly clean, so we should get a pretty uh, admirable result out of this. It's got pretty good shot on it as, is, as it is now, as you can see, and um, uh, there's no reason we shouldn't get a damn good result out of it. So when it's done, we'll do another quick vid. Hopefully the weather will have cleared up. I doubt it. Um, not the way it's looking, but um, see what happens. One very easy way to tell if there's anything on, on a paint job, <clears throat> if it's been paint protected before or not, or if it's just pure paint, is to actually just fill the surfaces with the back of your fingers. And if the paint grips your fingers, um, or it's fairly sticky, you know there's really nothing on the paint. So it's bare paint, as you can see, my finger just doesn't want to slide there. And um, it's just, they don't move. and uh, it's basically dragging across the paint job, so there's nothing really on it. Um, there's a little imperfection right there, got to deal with. And um, one over there, just from right there, a slight surface scratch. But the surface is pretty sticky, and when we're done with this, it'll actually be nice and slippery, so um, it'll have a nice coat on it. and. Uh, anything after that should not really stick to the paint job as far as dirt or anything should wash pretty easy and wipe pretty easy do everything pretty easy so we'll do the ending video after this oh back here guys um here's that uh, x5 beamer that we did uh, we had a little bit of sunlight just a second ago but it's just disappeared under the clouds um would have been nice if we had some sunlight here again been trying to catch some sunlight but we're not having much luck um this is the one we did the coating on um which we've been working on all day. We did pretty much the paint prep, gave it a strong polish to get the best possible depth out of the color and um, best possible gloss. And um, we sealed it off with some sealant. And um, it's really brought out the reflective properties of the car. And I think the owner of this car is gonna be pretty much beside himself. Um, they usually all are anyway. Um, so. You guys got a black car, somebody needs paint protection, you need correction on it. Um, you want it glassed up, you want it looking like a mirror, um, give us a call. 
I love doing black cars. Well, black cars are our specialty, really. I mean, we don't do anything else. Um, it's very off, very often. Seven out of ten cars we get are black anyway. Um, but believe it or not, black is the easiest colour to work on. If anybody tells you otherwise, they don't know what they're talking about. If I tell you that black is the hardest colour to work on, because it's not. It's the easiest colour to work on. So if you've got a black car, you've got problems. You've been given too many broken promises and paid for it. Well, if you'd like to get it fixed once and for all, give us a call, Dr. Buff. Um, and here comes the sun, so we're going to take advantage of this uh, opportunity now to take some photos. Catch you later, guys.